welcome to the NBS show, episode number 428. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. And well, um, <laughs> how do I put this? Sorry for no episode last week. Uh, I was on uh, a vacation, a family vacation with family and friends. So, yeah, I had to take a break. Plus, there weren't much news last week. Yeah, last week was lacking in news. But this week we got a few, so let's hop right into it. So, first up in the news, uh, Pony Anatomy revealed a new My Little Pony dissection toys from Mighty Jacks. So, just want to read what this to wrote down. Ever wonder what the inside of your favorite cartoon equine looks like? A company called Mighty Jacks is apparently answering that question. They have revealed a new product line showing off the bones and organs of each main six. The full set also includes a trio of 1 over 24 rare variants or 1 over 48 ultra rare variants that are either sparkly or in Rainbow Dash's case includes a Wonderbolt getup. You can find the site for them over here, along with a bunch of screen crabs below. Apparently they, um, apparently they have hats, shirts, and socks to go along with them, as revealed here. Uh, more pictures down below too. The clothing set, uh, sorry, closing clothing set also has an August 19th availability according to their article. So let's click here for a bit. So let's see where we go. My TJX website. Okay, they're $13 each. Okay, available now. Alright, alright. Uh, let's see. So I'm guessing this is the... Oh, no, 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 no. So let's see. Yeah, uh-huh. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, this this is, is on EQD anyway. Um, yeah. Um, here they are in their... Glorious figure. Um, oh, there's a sparkly variant. There's the Rainbow Dash uh, Wonderbolt uniform. And I think those are the title cards or something like that. And they're pretty small. And with clothing and whatnot. They have the uh, dissection part 2, okay? Ah, socks are pretty cute. So yeah, um, oh hats, that's good. Wait, wait, does the sock really have those wings? I don't think so, but it would be cool if they have. Okay, um, let's break it down. I got no idea what to think. This is just too freaky. Mm. Uh, how, how do I put this? Okay, you know fan work stuff, right? Like work, uh, things that are done by fans, for the fans and whatnot. And yeah, granted, sometimes they are good and bad. And this one, ah, shush. How, how do I even describe what I'm feeling right now with this one? I... Mm, They they look good. Yes, the figure looks good. The proportion of the size looks about. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is one of those um, pop vinyls that I had before. Um, this is one of vinyl that, uh, vinyl scratch, and the size is you know uh, just about right. Like I mean, it's not too big, but it's not too small. It's just right, and um. The figure for the Mighty Jacks ones are about the same size too, I imagine. So yeah, they, they look good. The only thing that's freaky is the dissected part. I, I don't think I... <laughs> uh, I can't find words to describe how uncomfortable I feel right about now. And to be honest, they don't look bad. They look pretty good. It's just that the dissected part is just too edgy. 
And okay, uh, when you think about it in the sense of who is this for, really? Um, I'm just going to say this. My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, has been out for almost a decade now. And people who grew up with the show have turned into young teens, young adults. So their interests may have evolved to, well, suit this. So yeah, uh, it's possible that there is a market for this. If not, they wouldn't have uh, signed off on this and so on. And it being $13 for one is not bad. And Applejack has her hat, so yay. And honestly, ah oh man, this is just not for me, yo. This is just not for me. So anyway, let's move on to the next news. So, next news is My Little Pony manga artist has revealed the colors for Star Dancer. So, I'm gonna read what Sylvester wrote. The illustration, sorry, the illustrator working on My Little Pony manga, who goes by the name of Mui Fish, <laughs> Mui Fish on Twitter recently revealed the colors to a beloved manga exclusive pony named Star Dancer. Many an artist has tackled her since her reveal a while ago and Colors have been all over the place due to the black and white nature of the actual source material. Above is her official colors, sorry, color scheme. Also, she's adorable. In fact, the entire manga is adorable. You should definitely read it. We have some links here. Now, uh, I think we might be doing an open. Yeah, okay. Um, so, and honestly, I don't remember who this is. Like, I read the manga and I really don't remember. Um, currently, I'm working on manga number two and we'll soon on manga three. And honestly, yeah, a star dancer here is cute. Yeah, adorable. And I like the color scheme because it's one of those color schemes that is not used widely. Uh, you got the um, light yellow coat. Coat. Coat? Yes. Um, but it's not Fluttershy yellow. Uh, it's, it's a more near skin tone, something like that. And you got the, um, how do I put this? The main is a purple kind of gradient, but it's, it's, how do I put this? It's all purple, but when you take a look, see carefully, there's, gradients on it and they are not the same kind of color tone that would have on a normal pony uh, take a look see at the QD's mascot uh, they have what um, multiple tones to her mane while uh, star dancer here has well three but those could be lighting so that's really fascinating and her key remarks are two stars uh, breaking the convention of uh, characters or ponies having three uh, Q- three stars or three pictures on their flanks. Uh, like Rarity has three diamonds, Applejack has three apples, uh, Pinkie Pie has three balloons. So yeah, this is breaking the convention. And yeah, since this is a fine work, it doesn't really matter. And yeah, if you guys... If you guys like the artwork and whatnot, you guys should check out Mui Fish on the Twitters. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so her work is pretty awesome. Her work is pretty awesome. Uh, you, you guys should check her out, follow her if you want to. And yeah, she does a lot of amazing work. Yep. And is she from Japan? Uh, I, I guess so. So anywho, let's move on to the next news. Next news is Kotobu Kia announcing something on August 23rd. Is it August 23rd already? It is for me. Okay, Kotobu Kia is running an expo on the 23rd of this month, revealing a bunch of new products. They specifically mentioned big news from the Marlo Prony Bush Shoujo series. So, let's check it out. 
Um, learn about newest anime, video game, and DC comic figures that choose to join the Kotobukiya lineup. We will also be announcing something new and exciting from the official license by Little Pony Bush Hojo series. So, nothing much, just announcement. Uh, and, well, let's see. Mm, predictions, predictions for this one. We recently knew that they were going to do a Sunset Shimmer figure. Um, her art is out and the concepts are, 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 are all there. Um, what else? We don't really know what else, but uh, the announcement, no, sorry, they, they also reveal a variance in the figures. Like, uh, if I remember right, they're going to have, uh, for Pinkie Pie, they're going to give her pink skin, like how her uh, like how she is in the show and sparkly hair. This goes with the pony figure too. The pony figure will also have sparkly hair. Uh, I'm also assuming that uh, all of the other main six will follow their Equestria Girls color scheme with Rainbow Dash having blue skin, Applejack having her orange tan, Fluttershy yellow skin, Rainbow Dash blue, Twilight Purple, and so on. So, yeah, that's one of the few predictions that I have. Uh, another thing that they could do is add more characters. Um, since the, what you call this series is pretty good, uh, doing well in fan, for fans. They like it. I remember, right? I, I would love it. <laughs> I would love to buy some if I can get it and if it's cheap enough for me. But let's see, um, predictions for other characters that might come out. Uh, they announced Sunset. So, Celestia and Luna are up there. Trixie and Starlight are there too, because those are fan favorites. Uh, if they want to break the mold, they could go for male characters. Uh, some of the few male characters that are quite popular and well-known are Big Mac and Shining Armor. So, yeah, those two could possibly be out if they want to touch on the male characters uh, other than Big Mac and Shiny you do got uh, Doctor Who's you also got oh man well known and beloved um, nah man like just Doctor Who's and those other two uh, I'm not sure if Stick of the Mud is going to be there. I mean, he's pretty dull. But I guess there's a bill. So yeah, um, we'll see how this goes on later when the announcement is made. Uh, maybe I'll do a follow-up next week. In, sorry, we do, <laughs> I'll do a follow-up in next week's news. So anyway, uh, moving on to the last one. Uh, Globe Life Field gets a Rainbow Dash audience member. Yay! Uh, over in... All Rington, Texas, a stadium has picked up Rainbow Dash cutouts as one of their stand in fans with COVID keeping crowds away right now, particularly this Ranger Rainbow Dash from White Diamonds. Uh, commission, the commissioner, uh, at Angie Rules, uh, e, oh, sorry, Asian, Asian Rules apparently sent her in and she ended up getting accepted. <laughs> ah, boys. So, yeah, that, that's really awesome. Look, it's it's her. It's her in the background. Yay! <laughs> ah, boys. So anyway, um, I I seen this one for another team, and it was a guy in a fursuit. So this is also this a baby. Huh, okay, cool. So, uh, what's going on is that they're using the Video game logic of putting cut out audience. Oh my god. But still, um, due to the pandemic going on, uh, fans or, yeah, fans are, or, well, in general, people are not to go and gather in a big crowd. And, well, sporting events are big crowds, so that's not good. 
Um, what else? Yeah, so to make the stadium more lively, from what I heard, is that uh, they have installed speakers in the stadium where fans could uh, cheer for their favorite fans, like by pressing um, an app or a button where it is to cheer for them. Like if you just press a button, it goes way, so on. And to make the stadium look full, they inserted cutouts of fans. If you notice there, there's a cat and a, yeah, there's two cat cutouts. So why not Rainbow Dash, right? <laughs> so yeah, um, all in all, this is pretty, this is kind of cool and creative. Like, this is fun. This, this is something fun and silly. And just goofy. Let's, let's just say it's just a lot of fun. It's just a lot of fun. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, man. Can't, can't say much, but this is creative. This is creative. I, I like where this is going and I like how loose they are with what they can accept. And obviously there's nothing going to be, uh, they're not going to accept anything adult. But having, you know, um, a Rainbow Dash cartoon wearing a Texas shirt uh, supporting the team it's kind of okay it's it's okay it's fun so it's all good it's all good so anyway uh, let's move on to the next topic and the next topic is what have I been doing for my week and obviously enough like I mentioned before I went on a vacation um, said location for vacation is the town of Malacca uh, Malacca is the next state from my state, uh, which is one state away, but took us about two to three hours to go there. And that's because of the, well, uh, experience of going there to hunt for food. Uh, usually, if you just take the highway straight without, with a few stops, you could probably take an hour and a half to two hours. Uh, we did it in two to three just because we want to stop by places to eat and whatnot. So the experience was a lot of fun. Um, check out my Instagram at instagram.com slash Norman Sanzo. Uh, I posted a few pictures there for updates and whatnot. And man, the, the experience was a lot of fun. And the break was really needed. Uh, also, if you want to hear more on what I experienced over there in Malacca, uh, check out the Gatewatch cast at, well, uh, YouTube, uh, the, the Gatewatch cast. Uh, it's my Magic the Gathering channel. And over there, I talk about said experience. Um, it's near the end. Uh, I, I think what, um, yeah, it's near the end. Uh, take 15 minutes or something like that. If you want to go check it out, please do. Uh, if you do play Magic the Gathering, uh, go give it a sub and like. Hey, eh? awesomeness. <laughs> But other than that, um, I've been playing Sekiro, and Sekiro is really awesome. I, it's been a while since I ha- I'm invested in playing a game. I got Final Fantasy VII Remake, and that's one of the games that didn't really pull me in. I played for a bit, and I should really continue on. But Sekiro seems to p- scratch that itch that I have, where. I want to play something that's uh, quote unquote almost open world, uh, mission based and whatnot, and have a lot of action in it. And yeah, I, I think Sekiro, sorry, I'm not Sekiro, uh, uh, Ghost of Tsushima, sorry, my bad, yeah. <laughs> uh, Ghost of Tsushima has really scratched that itch for me. Yay. Uh, other than that, it, it is going, sorry, things are going back to normal, uh, doing the recordings, editing the videos and whatnot, and editing the audios for things that need audio editing or video editing. And yeah, going to record the review and discussion podcast soon ish. So yeah, um, going to cover more Pony Life, going to cover more Little Witch and comics and so on. So we have a lot of things to cover. Yep. So anyway, um, let's wrap things up. If you guys, sorry, uh, 
If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Uh, you can um, sorry. Uh, also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and also uh, Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Um, we do have the review and discussion podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, we review pony comics, episodes, movies. Sometimes we like to do other things than ponies, and that's anime, comics, and games. Maybe cartoons, yes. And yeah, uh, do give us a s- follow, subscribe, and why not? Uh, if you like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash NPS show. Uh, with every support, you get a week's early access to review discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank tonight, Jeffrey, Tristan, and also myself, Lag. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya! See ya!